All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about something that I feel gets talked about quite a bit, but something we're doing like an interesting spin on it. So hopefully this is an intriguing video, but today we're going to be going over some of the coolest bushcrafting knives to begin your journey, or even if you're a more experienced bushcrafter, these are still incredibly awesome rock stars for their price point. And even if you are a more experienced person, I would still recommend looking at these knives if for no other reason, if you go out and you take people out to train um, wilderness self-reliance or bushcrafting, either or. These are some really good considerations for bushcrafting knives that you should definitely check out. And the last one, the final one we'll go over, is probably the best bushcrafting knife of 2023. I've talked about the best survival knife of 2023, but hands down, we're going to go over, in my opinion, the best bushcrafting knife of 2023. And no, it is not at all what anyone expects. So first off, let's go over what I would say the runner-ups. Really solid choices that if you're genuinely either starting out, even if you're intermediate to bushcrafting, these are some really promising knives because they are tough, they are surprisingly robust, and they have a lot of good merit to them. So the first one up is the Condor Pterosaur. This is no new knife to me per se. I love the Pterosaur primarily because of its price point and its value for what you're getting. The Pterosaur is a really, really awesome option. It, it comes in 1095 high carbon. Now it is left with a natural finish, which I think some people will like. It's not my personal favorite, but it works just fine. And once again, helps keep costs low. So I'm all about that part to the finish. Of course, this is a traditional Scandi grind knife, but what I like the most about it is it uses a fully plastic, um, encased handle. Of course, this is full tang, so you can see the tang sticking out there. And this is one of the few knives for its price point that is going to be a high performance or at least decent performance knife that is truly full tang. So, you know, a lot of knives like we're going to talk about here in just a little bit, you know, are really good knives. They're solid performers, but they're not necessarily full tang. However, this knife is, and it does offer a really good value, really good strength. And once again, being fully, um, you know, plastic uh, encased for the handle. It's not going to offer as much traction as the next two rubber handled options, but it's going to offer a lot of comfort because you're not dealing with a fully exposed um, tang of steel. So in my opinion, really good value here. The Condor Pterosaur is a knife that I feel gets often overlooked, but is a very solid contender. Now the next one up and kind of going to the opposite side, a little bit lighter use than a Pterosaur, but still a very strong knife. Like this knife is by no means weak or fragile. You can absolutely abuse it, um, but this is going to be the Mora Kunzbul. And this is an orange Kunzbul, but is still the same exact blade shape. Now this one has a compound grind and it means that that belly and tip or towards the tip is absolutely thin thin and very acute, which is kind of what leads to the, you know, fragility of this knife. So it's not necessarily that this knife cannot be batoned, but that you probably want to recommend avoiding any lateral, you know, prying on this because it has a very thin, very slender tip or kind of front portion to it, given its compound grind. Now, if this compound grind did not work on the more 2000, they would have never brought it back for the cons pool. So this compound grind does indeed work and it gives you a very, very slicey forward edge while still retaining a lot of robust structure to the rear in case you do want to do more robust tasks with this knife. So the Guns Bull is one that is really great for those reasons. Once again, you're seeing rubber, so high grip, um, high texture, and it is going to stay, once again, warmer or at least more temperature neutral in cold temperatures, which is another huge seller for me and something that I basically look to or look as a make or break kind of knife feature for me in knives. <clears throat> All right. I think you guys have been patient enough, and so it is time to talk about the number one, the best, the ultimate bushcrafting knife of 2023. It is not necessarily new, but it has come to my attention that Mora has recently re-released the Clipper. Now, there's been several flavors. Blade HQ did a weird spin-off of this knife, but the Mora Clipper is probably one of the best bushcrafting knives. Not only is this featured, like picture featured in or in books such as Bushcraft by Morris Kohansky, 
This knife is truly incredible. It is one of my favorites because it is a very lightweight knife. It is very, very thin, but it also works extremely effectively. Now, do keep in mind the clipper, unlike the companion, is only about a half tang knife. And there are plenty of videos on YouTube showing these knives broken and destroyed. However, I will say, as you guys can probably see with my my clipper, it has been ran through the ringer. I have batoned it, not extensively, and I haven't tried to break this knife, but I've realistically put it through bushcrafting paces, and it absolutely performs. And I'm not the only one to see this and realize it. Once again, there are other um, bushcrafters, and once again, people like the late uh, Morse Kohansky that absolutely trusted their lives to these blades. These clippers are not necessarily special, but they are incredibly high performance. And for the fact that you can get these for sub $20, even to this day, you can still go on Amazon, you can go on Knife Center. There's multiple places that are selling these for about 15 bucks. And uh, you may not get free shipping with a you know price that cheap, but if you order a few other knives or you order some other stuff off of Amazon, get it for free shipping. Um, but this knife is absolutely indispensable. The Mora Clipper is very cool. And what I like more about the Mora Clipper than the Companion is the fact that you have this diamond texturing here that offers a good amount of traction, more traction than the Companions. Even though the Companion still has a rubberized portion, just like this, this is a little bit better feels better in the hand. And so this is an absolute winner for me. And once again, 1095 high carbon steel typed performance, and this is going to perform incredibly well. So definitely, I would say that this is the GOAT. This is the knife for bushcrafting in 2023. In my opinion, this is it guys. This is a pretty cool knife, pretty awesome. And this one is by no means new. I think I picked this one up originally way back when, over 10 years ago for like a $11, but very awesome. So that is the Mora Clipper. Mine is ironically in a companion sheath, but it is a Mora Clipper nonetheless. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.